Yo YouTube, how you guys doing? What's going on? And welcome back to another Shrine Showcase video. If you guys have ever seen the series, this is a series I do where every Wednesday I upload a video where the Shrine refreshes and we go through the two killer perks and we talk about what they do and we showcase them in a build and we show what they're all about so that you can make an educated decision whether or not you want to pick them up with your hard-earned shards. And I also give a little bit of a review at the end and kind of give my own recommendation as well. So today, for this week, we have Shadowmourne and Remember Me are the two perks for killer, which is, this is kind of a... It's kind of a weird shrine because both of these perks are kind of hard to showcase, but I'm going to do my best anyway. So let's go hop in the game. Okay, so to show these perks, we're going to be playing it on Nurse. Nurse is like, at least for Shadowborn, is definitely the most common killer that you see it on. Uh, before I talk about this anymore, let's talk about what these perks actually are. So Shadowborn is a perk, and this perk is really simple. It's just your field of view is 50 degrees wider than normal. That's it. That's all the perk does. Just makes your FOV better. It's essentially like if they put FOV slider in DVD, it would just be <laughs> this perk. It just makes your FOV bigger so you can see more. That's really all it does. There's no other effect. That's it. It's pretty simple. And then Remember Me is a perk where it's an obsession perk. So you become obsessed with a survivor. Each time you hit your obsession with a basic attack, you get a stack. And then you can get up to four stacks. Um, if you get four, for each stack you have, the exit gates take four extra seconds to open. So at four stacks, it takes 16 additional seconds. I'm pretty sure exit gates take, they take either 20 or 25 seconds by default. So this adds a decent chunk of time. It, it, it like, it comes close to like doubling the amount of time. So if you get all four stacks, it does make the gates take a while, but it's a very interesting late game perk is what it is. So we're, we slap these on Nurse. Um, as far as like Shadowborn goes, I think my plan, because this, this perk is kind of hard to show off because all it does is it just makes your FOV bigger, right? Like how do you really show that off? So I'm going to do my first game with Shadowborn and then I'm going to take it off for the second game. So that way if you, like right now, if you just want to see the difference, feel free to skip to like one third of the way into the video and like watch the gameplay for a second and then skip like, I don't know, three quarters of the way in and go to the second game. Because I'm going to do one game with it and one game without it. That way you can just kind of see how different it looks, you know? And then for Remember Me, we'll just hopefully get into a situation where they get to the end game while I also have a bunch of stacks. So, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, something I forgot to remember. I, I think something I forgot to to, 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 to to mention is that the killer is, or sorry, the obsession is not affected by Remember Me. So, like, if your obsession opens the exit gate, they actually aren't affected by the additional seconds. So it's it's kind of good to kill your obsession or at least, like, chase them in the end game because only the non-obsessions are affected. So that's really it. Let's just hop in, like, let's hop in game and play, I guess. Let's go. Okay, cool tower. Let's do this. Um, So I forgot to mention the rest of my build, but also it's not, like, too important. It's just whispers and barbecue. Nothing too crazy. Literally just two perks that helps me find people, you know? Like, it's kind of, I feel like it's becoming standard if you're watching my videos very often. You kind of just expect to see, like, barbecue, whispers, and corrupt intervention in, like, most of my builds, you know? They're there most of the time. It's pretty safe to assume they're going to be making appearances here and there in pretty much every single one of my builds. Hello. So the increased FOV just makes shit much easier to see. And, like, especially when you're playing someone like Nurse, being able to see is, like, most of the challenge of the game. You know what I mean? Like... You're like blinking around, you're teleporting constantly. So being able to like keep an eye on the survivor and see where they're at and where they're going is like probably one of the most difficult things, you know? It's kind of weird because you're like disappearing and reappearing in different places. Oh, are you camping a pallet against nurse? That's not how you want to play. That's not how you want to play at all, dude. LED! So, like, I don't know. I'm not going to talk too much about nurse play because I'm just going to play it. But, yeah, Shadowborn is pretty nifty. Pretty nifty here. Helps me, helps me in a lot of ways. Helps me, like, like right now, all this, like, blinking around that I'm doing, it, it like, they never really leave my screen. You know what I mean? And, like, it, it's hard to tell the exact benefit you get because, again, I know that it's kind of... You don't know what it looks like without it. But trust me, without Shadowborn, it's, like, it's much, much different. It's way harder to, like, keep people on your screen and see exactly where they are all the time. But with Shadowborn, it's like you just have that little bit of extra FOV. And it feels like even while you're blinking around and you're like, you know, zipping around from point A to point B and you're, you know, zooming through the fucking goddamn multiverse, you still like can see them the whole time, you know? It's very, very nifty. Elodie, Jesus woman. Wow, that was a fast heal. Holy shit. That was a very fast heal. Are you guys okay? You guys are quite cracked, I gotta say. You are quite cracked. Eh, she's gone. She's too far. Oh, you have Tenacity. I wonder if he has Unbreakable, too. 
He's got the tenacity. I was wondering, I was like, how the hell did he crawl over there and then also get picked up so fast? He might have Unbreakable, too. He might have, like, the full getup. We'll go fuck with this guy. Oh, there's the obsession. About time. I need to find the, I need to find the obsession to get some stacks. So you'll see that every time I hit this Claudette, I'm gonna get a stack and remember me. Like, like a number beside remember me will go up by one, kind of like barbecue and chili. Feels like a finder, my god. See, it says one right now, so now, if the exit gates were to be powered, like, right this second. Oh, she, oh, she dead hearted, okay. If the exit gates were, were, were to be powered right this second, it would take them four more seconds to open a gate, which is not much, right? But once we get it to four stacks, we get 16 more seconds, it should be pretty good. It should be pretty high. Wait, she went to the basement? What are you <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, interesting. I like blinked to a place where I can get line of sight and I was like waiting to see if she would vault the window or go to the pallet. Like I was trying to see where she'd go and she went to the fucking basement. Why would you do that? He was like, oh God, I'm in danger. Let's run down to the place that is the most dangerous. That seems like a good place to go while I'm in danger. This was my, this is the only person I saw on barbecue. That's a little weird. Where the hell is everybody? I wouldn't be surprised if she just runs far away from basement. Like, it wouldn't be crazy of her to just literally just hold W far away from basement. She didn't. She's kind of running back. But it wouldn't have been crazy of her to just run straight, like, away from basement. Okay. Get her down real quick. Oh, hi, Yui. How you doing? What up, Yui? Good to see you, bud. Oh, I almost blinked down to the basement. That was close. I was going to blink down the blink in place, and instead I, like, kind of just didn't hold my blink for very long. And if I would have blinked down, I would have went right into the basement. That would have been sketch as fuck. All right, we'll get everybody injured, and then we'll go back for that guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. Whoa, whoa, hey. Whoa, 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 hey. Let's calm down. Shit, who was in basement? Was it Yui? It wasn't Yui. Or was it Yui? No, it wasn't Yui. She was the one that was like outside of basement. It was a Claudette that was in basement. Okay, I'm gonna hook the Yui. I'm gonna hook the Yui. Everyone else is injured, which is fine. That means they gotta... They either gotta go heal, or it's gonna be really dangerous for them to like wander around the map with me being, you know, a fucking nurse and everything. This hill is actually like... This is kind of like basement 2.0. Like, they gotta go around, then up to get up to this hill. And I'm a nurse, so I can blink right up the backside. So that's almost like, that's almost like basement 2.0 since I'm nurse. That's a really dangerous hook for them to go for. Ooh. Yes, I will chase my obsession again, actually. She has dead hard, and she didn't use it. I was gonna say, I wanted to insta-swing to either get her to use her dead hard, or just get the down. And I'll take the free down, dude. Sign me up, coachy. I'm fucking down. Sign me up. Sounds good to me. Sounds pretty good to me. Tap, my dude. Detective, sir. Sir, detective. Sir, detective, come back. Sir. We're gonna get a little bit closer. Okay, well, he didn't do a very good job of juking, so I'll take it. I will take the down. Game's looking pretty good right now. Again, I feel like... I feel, I don't really know what to say during this video, because again, I don't really like, I feel like this is just nurse play, you know? Like, again, I don't have anything wrong with making a video that's just nurse play. I think playing nurse is pretty cool, so like, I'm down for it to just be nurse play. But I also just like, I feel like I should be saying something about like, what Shadowborn does. But truthfully, I got nothing. Like, this is it. My screen looks better, you know? Well, we got our dead heart anyway. Like, my screen looks better. That's what it does. My shit looks good. It's easy to see. Feels dead hard, man. Dead hard? Shadowborn? What am I saying? Shadowborn. Dead hard. Shadowborn. Shadowborn. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Shadowborn. Also, this guy might DS me, although he did dead hard. You think if he had DS, he probably wouldn't dead hard? So maybe he's just dead. I really fucked up that first blink. I was trying to blink through the wall and it just didn't go. That was my fault. This chase is taking way too long. I should have caught this guy like an hour ago. Oh, man, I'm fucking up, dude. I'm fucking up now. Oh, God, I gotta get it together. I might lose the match right here. Holy shit, they're getting shit done. My God. That was, a, that was some tricky little moves she did. That's actually kind of good because we might be able to see Remember Me then. If they actually power the Exegates, we might be able to see Remember Me happen. 
She's dead though, so she's now dead, which means everyone else will be affected by Remember Me, which is good. Like we don't have the person that isn't affected by the perk now. Oh my God, these guys, I leave these guys alone for like a half a second and then they all heal up and then two gens get done. That's actually crazy. These guys are hella efficient, dude. Okay, if they were smart, they would probably run over this way. Or they would come to the hill, I guess? Yeah, I thought they would go that way. I mean, that made way more sense. Oh, come on, Blinks. Go through the wall, dude. I mean, okay. If you're not going to go anywhere else, I'm down. I won't argue with you, LED. If you're not going to go anywhere else, I'm down to just get the hit. I know the tab was like right back here. I'm going to hook her here. He might be at the gen. I got to keep in mind that the third guy was over on a gen that way. So if I'm going to do this, I got to kill this tap really quickly. That way I can follow up and get the last guy too. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know if the other guy's going to get scared or if he's just going to stay on the gen. He, he'll either get off the gen and come for this unhook or he'll stay on the gen, which either way kind of works, honestly. I guess we'll see right now, huh? I'll just throw him on the hook. Because if, if the other guy goes for the unhook, that means he's not doing the gen. Either way, it's a win-win for me. He either gets off the gen to go for the unhook. Yep, and he did. He's right there. I see him running up. Which means the gen isn't getting done. Or he stays on the gen, in which case they both die on hook. You know? It's a win-win, baby. We win no matter what. See, this is kind of a bummer because we're not going to see Remember Me. Um, but I'm going to assume that the game that I play without Shadowborn... I'm surprised that didn't hit. I felt like I was kind of close to her. I'm going to guess that the game I play without Shadowborn, we're probably going to have a much higher chance of seeing it. Because I'll be honest with you guys, I am very used to playing Nurse with Shadowborn. So when I take Shadowborn off, I, it's like it's like I'm a new nurse. It's like I'm a brand new nurse player, dude. It's like I've never played her again before, before in my life, you know? I'm like a newborn baby. It's like if you put the mouse and keyboard in front of a newborn child and you were like, hey, baby, play Nurse. Play nurse and kill these survivors. And the baby's like, huh? That's essential. Oh, hey, that's essentially me without Shadowborn. Essentially, me without Shadowborn is a baby. I'm literally a baby. Uh yeah? You you wanna talk about it, Elodie? You wanna you wanna talk about it, my friend? Well, GG. We couldn't have got this 4K if it wasn't for Remember Me. Best perk in the game, baby. Remember me. The best perk you could ever run ever. But actually, it was mostly Shadowborn, so GG's. Let's uh, go to the end game, I guess. Okay, let's see the blood points. Oh, not bad. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, whoa, oh, hey, look pretty good. Almost got a perfect game. We're 300 away. 300 away from a perfect game. We got it. good uh, good pips. I mean, I don't know, man. That's, that's I guess that's nurse gameplay. I don't really know what to say. Nurse, nurse gaming. There's not really much to say. Uh, GG's. Wait, I wasn't typing. GG's. Was well, fun. Okay, let's go do round two, except this time I'll replace Shadowborn with some just something else. Just some other nurse perk. I'll replace it with some other nurse or with some other nurse perk. And we'll see how it goes. Okay. We got, ooh, worm and gross. And for this game, we literally just took off Shadowborn and I'm now running Sloppy Butcher. And that's it. So the first thing you might notice, it looks like I'm walking slower, right? That's like always a thing. With, with Shadowborn and the bigger FOV, it always looks like you like walk or run faster and my blinks also feel really heavy like that's one thing i noticed like right now when i'm fatigued i see less just walking around i see less it's like a night and day difference honestly like right there i could not keep track of him like i already feel bad without without shadowborn honestly like i feel it already even that like god it's hard it's like it's just harder to keep track of people like just in general keeping track of people is like very difficult your blings feel like they don't go as far good dead hard my dude sick dead hard i like how you pressed e and then you outplayed me that was really cool that, my favorite part of that was the part where you pressed e that was really really cool all right we can still do okay though like it's still going okay you know i i still feel confident that i could at least do some things as Shadowborn this nurse, but I definitely feel like significantly nerfed, you know? I feel like a nerfed version of nurse. And God, like the blinks, like they just feel like there's something about blinking with Shadowborn and then taking off Shadowborn and blinking where it just feels so different. Like your blinks literally feel heavy. I don't know, how, it's, it's such a weird way to describe it, but I can't think of how else to describe it. They literally just feel heavy. It's like, it's like you're trying to blink with like weights on your shoulders, you know? 
It's very, very odd. Sick flashlight, dude. You almost had it. You were so close. You were so close, Steve. You were practically there, honestly. I don't even know how I evaded it. It was nuts. It took so much finesse and skill for me to evade that flashlight. It was wild. He's gonna have fucking DS. He's gonna... If he has DS, I'm tunneling him. I'm tunneling this guy to death. I fucking hate when people play this way. This guy's dying. This Steve is now dying. Yep, you're dead. I'm gonna make sure you die. There is, like, nothing more annoying than someone using DS in that way. Like, I I, I love DS as, like, an anti-tunnel perk. Like, if you're using it as, like, a... Oh, God, I'm being tunneled and, I'm, and, and I need a break from being tunneled. Then, like... That's totally cool. I love it. Like, that makes me love DS. Because I think tunneling is fucking lame as shit. So having a perk that basically fucks over tunnelers is totally cool with me. As a matter of fact, it's more than cool with me. I, 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 like, love that. I think it's great. But when people use DS to just be, like, annoying... It's like, oh, I'm invincible for 60 seconds. Let me just dive bomb this hook because I know that nothing can, can happen to me. It's like, like, you're not even worried about being tunneled anymore. You're just being a fucking asshole, you know? Like, you're literally just being an asshole. Mm, it was a good juke on her part. I'm going to go back to the hook, honestly. I'm going back. No, no, normally, I would, I would stay on this Nancy, but I know for a fact that they're going for this unhook, and I want to make sure that Steve dies. Yeah, get him. Yep. Yep, give him his bar time. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Go on, give it to him. Ah, I bet you I bet you wish you had uh bet you wish you had the size of strike now that you're actually getting tunneled, huh? Ah, I bet you didn't bet you fuck it, bet you wish you didn't waste it, did you, buddy, huh? Bet you wish you had it, huh? If only you had a perk right now. If only there was a perk that you could run that would stop this from happening, Steve. Oh no, oh no, oh no, sorry man. Darn. Darn, if only there was some kind of a thing you could put on that would stop that. You dumbass. We're gonna go up to the Nancy now. And, um... I think she was over here, right? Where'd she go? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Look at you, cheeky. I find tracking to be really hard on this map. Oh, like, oh, man. Like, that right there was, like, another, like, I need Shadowborn moment. I felt like I blinked, and I was trying to keep track of where she was, and it was just... It's hard. Like, it's just hard to see. Like, when you appear on the other side of a wall, you really gotta just, like, get your bearings about you quickly. Right? And that's like another thing that Shadowborn helps. It's like one of those little benefits that you don't really realize. Like you go from one side of a wall to the other, and then you have to very quickly like look around, figure out where the survivor is, and then like make your move, you know? And it's just so much easier to get all the information when your FOV is bigger. When your FOV is small, it's like you, it's just hard. Like you gotta be like, wait, 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 hold on, what's going on? And then that little bit of extra time fucks you over, you know? Are you just gonna commit to that? Yeah, you are. Oh yeah, you are. You're definitely gonna commit to that. You're gonna hard commit to that. Good juke. Good juke. Well played. I think this might be bugged. One of these... I didn't mean to do that. One of these sides is bugged. You can't blink up one of these sides. I'm not sure which one, though. I think it's over there, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, I'm going to go back to the hook because uh, that guy is pretty gone. I kind of fucked that chase up. Fang Min. Bunny Fang. Fang? Staying in the open field for me? My man, the homie, Bunny Fang, remaining in the wide open, not trying to juke me at all. The homie, hooking me up with the easy chase. Thank you, my man. Oh shit, Nancy stayed here too. What's she doing? I guess she was just trying to do a gen. Jane healed, so she's across the map healed now. Shit, she's on the gen. Oh, you healed too? How did that happen? If I can down her quick. If she DSs me too, I swear to God. Woo! If she would have DSed me, I would have been so sad. I would have been so, so sad. I don't think this guy quite was as much of a dick about it. Like, he wasn't really a dick about it at all. Like, I wouldn't have tunneled this guy for DSing me there. That, that would have just been really unfortunate. That Steve was a dick about it. This guy wasn't being a dick. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty set now. Yeah, she's just doing the gen. She's literally not even concerned. Teammates dying on hook, man. Fuck that. I got motors to rush, dude. I got motors need fixing, you know? There's motors need fixing. And you want me to save my teammates? Well, I guess we're not going to see Remember Me. This is, a, this, this is a thing about Remember Me that kind of sucks. Like, I can't... I knew this was going to happen where you just get games. I guess I have to wait for this guy to die since this James being a dick. Uh, but yeah, it just makes it hard to showcase it because, like, I can't force the game to go to endgame. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes they just die. 
And uh, yeah, I guess I guess that's the showcase. I'm gonna go ahead and wait this out without you guys. I'll, I'll spare you guys the the the, the boringness of waiting it out and just meet you guys in the endgame screen. Okay, GG's boys. Man, if you guys, I don't know if you caught the tail end of that because I don't know where exactly I'm gonna cut this, but you guys missed some really boring shit. Cause uh, if you didn't know what happened was that guy didn't, um, he actually did not just sit there until the guy died. He had Soul Guard and Unbreakable, and he Unbreakable with Soul Guard and then unhooked the guy after abusing the exploit of, of, of not being able to be picked up. Yes, hi. So I bled him out. <laughs> so I bled him out. I downed him. I, 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 I re-downed everybody, and then I bled him out because, yeah. You know, I'm just not in the mood today. I gotta tell you. Today, I'm just not in the mood for people's bullshit, you know? People bombing hooks with DS, and fucking sitting under hooks with 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 soul guard and unbreakable and abusing an exploit, you know? I, I'm I'm just I'm just not in the mood. Not in the mood. You're gonna do that kind of shit. I'm gonna bleed you out. I mean, at least he apologized. At least he apologized. Hey, hey, it's cool, my dude. It's cool, my dude. But at the same time, gonna bleed out anyone who does that. But GGs. At least he apologized. I gotta give him credit. At least he came in and apologized and didn't come in and act all salty and, and, and like a douchebag. So I gotta at least give him credit for that. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was a long, that was a long bit between the end of the game and just now. That that, that was quite a long bit. But anyway, uh, GG's boys, that was that was pretty solid stuff. Uh, I think that was a pretty good showcase of any Shadowborn at least. I mean, I tried my best to remember me, but I, I guess what are you gonna do? Uh, GG's. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the Shrine Showcase. This is, uh, I feel weird just ending the video here because I didn't actually show Remember Me at all. But at the same time, like, what is there really to show? I feel like Remember Me is one of those perks where, like, I feel like you see it more on the survivor side. Because if you actually experience the Exegate taking longer, it's a lot more noticeable than as a killer because you're not really the one opening the Exegate. I will say that this perk is really strong when comboed with Noed because they are in the end game phase longer. So that it kind of, like, gives you more of a chance to use Noed if you didn't use it already. Um, but generally I just don't like I think as far as end game perks go I think this is probably one of the weakest ones like I, I, like an extra 16 seconds You got to keep in mind that gens take 80 seconds So an extra 16 seconds that's less than a quarter of a gen, you know, it's not even like adding a six gen It's like adding a, a sick a, a, like a quarter of a six gen, you know, it's not really that much so Again, if you can if you combo with things like noed, I guess you can say that that's 16 more seconds of noed but it's really not that strong. Shadowborn, this is a perk that is great if you're struggling to keep track of survivors with your vision. Whether you're playing Nurse, or you're playing Hillbilly, and you're, like, failing to, to hit chainsaws. Or maybe if you're playing Huntress, and you're, like, failing to land close-range hatchets. If you're just, like, struggling to keep survivors on your screen, then Shadowborn can be a perk that helps you out a lot. I, I want to give a warning on this perk, though. This perk is literally, like, crack in perk form, man. If you start running this perk, you literally cannot take it off. When you take it off, the game will feel so weird. It's one of those, like, if you get used to it, it's so hard to play without it type perks. But if you want to play Nurse or anyone else, I would definitely recommend this on Nurse. If you're going to play Nurse, you should just get this perk. Like, this is a Nurse perk. You should definitely play Nurse with this perk. But even if you're not going to play Nurse, if you just have trouble, if you just have, like, trouble keeping people in your line of sight, it's definitely worth uh, trying out or picking up so my advice is ignore remember me completely ignore this perk don't bother wasting your shards on it it's not worth your shards there's so many better perks out there that you can get next week um shadowborn is worth it in that exact niche situation if you fit that niche feel free to spend your shards on it, it it's it's definitely worth it it's a pretty solid perk um that's really it for the showcase i hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you guys learned a thing or two. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. It helps me a lot with the algorithm and all that. Subscribe to the channel as well because I'm uploading literally daily. And also stop by my live stream on Twitch sometimes. I'm live six, six nights a week at twitch.tv slash otofu. So feel free to stop by and say hello. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your night. I'm getting out of here. I will see you guys later. Uh, see ya. I'm out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya. Uh, see ya later. See ya.